is up guys? My name is Tosi Fusain and today we're talking about the brand new iPhone X. I picked up three iPhone Xs and I was lucky enough to get them all in on time. I was up at like 3.03 and like just hacking away at my keyboard, have my phone out, just like just scrolling all the way through. I have my iPad out and I'm like refreshing the app and thank God I got in at like 3.03 p.m. and uh, I was able to cop three of them. I'm sure this week you already saw so many unboxings of iPhone 10. Um, so I decided, you know what? I'm not gonna do an unboxing. I can't really do a review right now because I haven't even used the phone. That being said, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell if you wanna see that. Um, in any case, today we're gonna be doing something different. So uh, actually this idea has also been kind of taken because ah, this last week. And I decided, you know what? Let's just look at some of the brand new features of the iPhone 10 that make it so different compared to all the other iPhones in the past. So we're gonna be looking at an emojis. I'm just totally kidding. Uh, we're not looking at emojis. Um, we are actually gonna be looking at Face ID. So there's been a lot of questions questions and a lot of, uh, I guess, curiosity surrounding Face ID. So let's deep dive into it. I have a bunch of scenarios that kind of just worked out in my head and I, I myself was curious. So I'm gonna test that out. Uh, let's go. Okay guys, so the first question that people have with Face ID is how well does it actually work? And to my surprise, it's been actually working pretty damn good. Uh, that being said, first test is just testing it out in your regular in your regular environment right so anytime you pick up the phone it's as easy as this so i just pick it up look at it boom unlocked you see that little unlock that little lock key right at the top there that's pretty much what will tell you if it's unlocked or not so it's literally been it's really been pretty flawless it's been pretty smooth so far so that's a thumbs up by me now another test is if your phone is on the table now like me, I know there's many others that probably have their phone just sitting on the table and you know, you're just at work or you're just doing something and you're just hammering away at the keyboard and then the phone dings up with a notification and you're like, okay, I wanna check who this is, let me get into my phone. But you know, sometimes like your arms hurting or sometimes you're just too lazy to pick up the phone. Okay, so that didn't work. So let's say it's on the side here, you know, swipe up. No, nothing. It's asking me for my passcode every time. Um, yeah, nothing. There you go. Uh, Face ID does not work. Face ID does not work when your phone is sitting on the table. So that is a thumbs down. Okay, so now now we're gonna test with the eyes closed. So the the good old trick of you know maybe you're just sleeping and somebody wants to snoop into your phone. Can they actually bring the phone up to your face and get it unlocked? Let's find out. I'm not sure if it's working. Get it unlock. Nope, it did not. Now I look at it, open my eyes, it unlocked. So it's smart enough to tell when your eyes are open and when your eyes are looking at the sensor, which is pretty, which is pretty cool. Okay, so for this part of the test, we're actually gonna try uh, if Face ID is gonna work inside a dark room. Now, sometimes you're in your room or, you know, it's just dark outside. Will Face ID actually work or will it fail? Find out in the next one minute. Okay, Google, turn off the basement lights. Sure, turn off the lights. Boom, okay, that one's gone too. Okay, now it's pitch black. Pick up the iPhone. Oh, boom, it worked. So it does work. Um, there you have it. This is our next test. Does it work with a hat? Let's say you're wearing something on your head. Is it gonna work? Let's find out. Okay. Boom, you see that? It works. It works just fine. For the next test, we're gonna try sunglasses. Okay, let's get these guys on. So Face ID has three main components to it. It picks up on your eyes, your nose, and your mouth uh, from what I've read about it. So I'm just curious to see what happens if I put sunglasses on. Okay, it works. It works with sunglasses. Dude, this, this is like magic. I don't even, I don't, I don't even, I, oh, 2017. What if we did sunglasses in the dark? Okay, now let's try that. Okay, Google, turn off the basement lights. You got it, turn it off okay, the now I'm putting my sunglasses on. Okay, there you go. It unlocked. So I'm super impressed by this. Okay, so another test that I'm curious to do is if 
would take a picture of myself, print it out, and I show the camera my picture if they will actually unlock it. So now that I got a picture of myself, let's actually check it out. Okay, so right off the bat, it's kind of turned me down. So as you can see here, it's asking for the passcode. Let's bring it a little bit closer. Nope, it's gone to the, yeah, no, it didn't work. Okay, so face doesn't work. Next test. Okay guys, so for this next test, I'm actually really worried. Uh, I just took the case off my iPhone 10 and I'm kind of stressing because even though the iPhone X is waterproof, Apple warranty doesn't cover that. So here's a $1,700 risk I'm willing to take just for you guys. I'm gonna submerge the iPhone into this and I'm curious to see if it will recognize my face through the glass and through the water. Let's, let's, let's go try that out. I'm going to submerge it. And now I'm gonna hit the power button and we're gonna try to put my face up to it. No, it doesn't seem to be picking me up. Power button. I think that's enough damage for my iPhone for today. Confirmed, it will not work inside a jug of water. So if you do drop your iPhone into the toilet or anywhere else, it's it's not gonna work while it's in inside, the, inside the bowl still. Okay. I'm gonna go dry this off now. Okay guys, so I tried putting the phone inside the jug. You guys saw that, it didn't work. Now what we're gonna try is, I'm curious to see if I actually drop the phone into the water and also put my face in the water. So like, I'm kind of like underwater. Will face ID work? Let's find out. All right guys, moment of truth. Let's find out. Turn this guy on. Okay, no, no dice. It doesn't work. Confirmed. I'm gonna take this guy out now because uh, Apple warranty doesn't cover it. Okay guys, so I'm still a little bit wet from the last test. I've been thoroughly impressed with Face ID and what Apple has done with it. It's unlike anything that we've seen before. For example, let's say you're eating like dal chawal or like let's say you're eating food um, and your hands are dirty and you wanna check your phone. It does happen pretty often, at least to me. You gotta go wash your hand and then you go put your finger on the phone. But with Face ID, you could literally just go pick it up and you're good to go. So there are a few benefits of it, even though at certain times it may be just slightly like, a couple milliseconds slower than Touch ID, um, but it's worked really well. It's worked pretty flawlessly for the most part under regular usage. Also, it's unlike anything that's on the market right now. Like Samsung has a version of uh, like, it, it kind of like scans your eyes or something like that, but it's nowhere close to as accurate and as good as this. With the Samsung one, even if I do it with my glasses on, it won't work, which is why I've never been able to use it on my Note 8. I think all in all, I'm really impressed with Face ID. I'm very uh, impressed with the direction Apple has gone with this. And uh, I, think, I think it's a change for the good. And I think everybody's gonna get used to it and then, um, yeah, and then we it's gonna be another thing we can't live without. All right, guys, that's it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that video and it was it was beneficial to you guys and it piqued your curiosity and answered quite a few questions, hopefully. Uh, I did have to sacrifice my phone for that or at least risk sacrificing, so I do definitely hope you appreciated that. In any case, um, if you like this video, then please go ahead and crush that like button. If you like content around tech, gadgets, and filmmaking, then please go ahead and smash that subscribe button. And as usual, I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.